Welcome to Walking with the Word, the Bible in 365, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word of spirit and truth, and I pray that we would see these kings of old as examples of how to live and how not to live our life. May you speak to each one during the reading today. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we pray this in your mighty name. Amen. Today we are reading 2 Chronicles 26, 27, and 28 in Psalm 2, 2 Chronicles 26. And all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, and made him king instead of his father, Amaziah. He built Elah and restored it to Judah after the king slept with his fathers. Uzziah was 16 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jechaliah of Jerusalem, and he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. He set himself to seek God in the days of Zechariah, who instructed him in the fear of God as long as he sought the Lord. God made him prosper. He went out and made war against the Philistines and broke through the wall of Gath and the wall of Jebna and the wall of Ashdod. And he built cities in the territory of Ashdod and elsewhere among the Philistines. God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians who lived in Gerbal and against the Meunites. The Ammonites paid tribute to Uzziah and his fame spread even to the border of Egypt, for he became very strong. Moreover, Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem, at the corner gate and at the valley gate, and at the angle, and fortified them. He built towers in the wilderness and cut out many cisterns, for he had large herds, both in Shephelah and in the plain. And he had farmers and vine dressers in the hills and in the fertile lands, for he loved the soil. Moreover, Uzziah had an army of soldiers fit for war in divisions according to the numbers in the muster made by Jael the secretary and Maasiah the officer under the direction of Hananiah, one of the king's commanders. The whole number of the heads of the father's houses of the mighty men of valor was 2,600. Under their command was an army of 307,500 who could make war with mighty power to help the king against the enemy. And Uzziah prepared for all the army, shields, spears, helmets, coats of mail, bows, and stones for slinging. In Jerusalem, he made machines invented by skillful men to be on the towers and the corners to shoot arrows and great stones. And his fame spread far, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. But when he was strong, he grew proud to his destruction, for he was unfaithful to the Lord his God and entered the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. But Azariah the priest went in after him with 80 priests of the Lord who were men of valor. And they withstood King Uzziah and said to him, it is not for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord, but for the priest, the sons of Aaron, who are consecrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary, for you have done wrong, and it will bring you no honor from the Lord God. Then Uzziah was angry. Now he had a censer in his hand to burn incense. And when he became angry with the priest, leprosy broke out on his forehead in the presence of the priest in the house of the Lord by the altar of incense. And Azariah, the chief priest, and all the priests looked at him, and behold, he was leprous in his forehead. And they rushed him out quickly, and he himself hurried to go out, because the Lord had struck him. And King Uzziah was a leper to the day of his death, and being a leper lived in a separate house, for he was excluded from the house of the Lord. And Jotham his son was over the king's household, governing the people of the land. Now the rest of the acts of Uzziah, from the first to the last, Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, wrote, and Uzziah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the burial field that belonged to the kings, for they said, He is a leper. And Jotham his son reigned in his place. Jotham was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his father Uzziah had done except he did not enter the temple of the Lord. But the people still followed corrupt practices. 
he built the upper gate of the house of the Lord and did much building on the wall of Ophel. Moreover, he built cities in the hill country of Judah and forts and towers on the wooded hills. He fought with the king of the Ammonites and prevailed against them. And the Ammonites gave him that year 100 talents of silver and 10,000 cores of wheat and 10,000 of barley. The Ammonites paid him the same amount in the second and the third years. So Jotham became mighty because he ordered his ways before the Lord his God. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham, in all his wars and his ways, behold, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. He was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. And Jotham slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. And Ahaz his son reigned in his place. Chapter 28. Ahaz was 20 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. And he did not do what was right in the eyes of the Lord, as his father David had done. But he walked in the ways of the kings of Israel. He made the metal images for the Baals, and he made offerings in the valley of the son of Hinnom, and burned his sons as an offering, according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord drove out before the people of Israel. And he sacrificed and made offerings on the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. Therefore, the Lord his God gave him into the hand of the king of Syria, who defeated him and took captive a great number of his people and brought them to Damascus. He was also given into the hand of the king of Israel, who struck him with great force for Pekah, the son of Remelia, killed 120,000 from Judah in one day, all of the men of valor, because they had forsaken the Lord, the God of their fathers. And Zikri, a mighty man of Ephraim, killed Maasiah, the king's son, and Azurkam, the commander of the palace, and Elkanah, the next in authority to the king. The men of Israel took captive 200,000 of their relatives, women, sons, and daughters. They also took much spoil from them and brought the spoil to Samaria. But a prophet of the Lord was there, whose name was Oded. And he went out to meet the army that came to Samaria and said to them, Behold, because the Lord, the God of your fathers, was angry with Judah, he gave them into your hand, but you have killed them in a rage that has reached up to heaven. And now you intend to subjugate the people of Judah and Jerusalem, male and female, as your slaves. Have you not sins of your own against the Lord your God? Now hear me and send back the captives from your relatives whom you have taken. For the fierce wrath of the Lord is upon you. Certain chiefs also of the men of Ephraim, Azariah the son of Joanan, Berechiah the son of Meshalamoth, Jehizekiah the son of Shalom, and Amasa the son of Hadlai, stood up against those who were coming from the war and said to them, You shall not bring the captives in here, for you propose to bring us guilt against the Lord in addition to our present sins and guilt. For our guilt is already great, and there is fierce wrath against Israel. So the armed men left captives and the spoil before the princes and all the assembly. And the men who have been mentioned by name rose and took the captives. And with the spoil they clothed all who were naked among them. They clothed them, gave them sandals, provided them with food and drink, and anointed them. And carrying all the feeble among them on donkeys, they brought them to their kinsfolk at Jericho, the city of the palm trees. Then they returned to Samaria. At that time, King Ahaz sent to the king of Assyria for help, for the Edomites had again invaded and defeated Judah and carried away captives. And the Philistines had made raids on the cities in Shephelah and the Negev of Judah, and had taken Beth Shemesh, Ajalon, Gedroth, Succo with its villages, Timnah with its villages, and Gizmo with its villages. And they settled there. For the Lord humbled Judah because of Ahaz, king of Israel. For he had made Judah act sinfully and had been very unfaithful to the Lord. So Tiglath Pilzer, king of Assyria, came against him and afflicted him instead of strengthening him. For Ahaz took a portion from the house of the Lord and the house of the king and of the princes and gave tribute to the king of Assyria but it did not help him. 
In the time of his distress, he became yet more faithless to the Lord, this same King Ahaz, for he sacrificed to the gods of Damascus that had defeated him and said, because of the gods of the kings of Syria helped them, I will sacrifice to them that they may help me. But they were the ruin of him and all of Israel. And Ahaz gathered together the vessels of the house of God and cut in pieces the vessels of the house of God. And he shut up the doors of the house of the Lord and made himself altars in every corner of Jerusalem. In every city of Judah, he made high places to make offerings to other gods, provoking to anger the Lord, the God of his fathers. Now the rest of the acts and all his ways from first to last Behold, they are written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. And Ahaz slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city in Jerusalem, for they did not bring him into the tombs of the kings of Israel. And Hezekiah his son reigned in his place. Psalm 2, why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs, the Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, as for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree, the Lord said to me, you are my son, today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry with you and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him.